round number one with War of the Spark. Um, this is a very land heavy hand, but I think we can keep it. Could be really bad depending on the matchup, and just don't know that I want to mulligan something like this. We are, or should be out of the London Mulligan rule, I'm pretty sure. We'll see what we're playing. It's probably Phoenix deck, which is, depends on their start. This hand could be good or bad. If they're trying to aggro Phoenix us, having some life gain and blockers and whatnot, it's not bad, but against a, um, a, Turbo thing in the ice hand, it's not good. So, obviously I was going to start with a shambling vent, but given my turns are kind of locked in for two and three, I wanted to leave path open for a potential thing in the ice here. Ooh, Pyromancer's Ascension, okay. It's still the same deck. Well, we do have a pretty nice 2 3 4 here. And we'll have to do Shambling Vent on 5, I guess. I do like that we did that we drew two spells though after having a land heavy hand. All right, there's the thing in the ice. So, hopefully draw Thoughtseize or something. Oh, Fatal Push is good. I don't think I can afford to um, Fatal Push. Uh, if I had drawn like a Thoughtseize or Inquisition, it would have been nice to do that. And then I could path a thing in the ice if I decided I needed to. But um, They don't usually run a lot of counter spells, so I might be able to do it on their turn, let them blow some spells first. I mean, if they counter a fail push, then I can always path it. It's not a big deal. and I'm not going to hit it now to get in for one point of damage. I don't think that matters right now. We'll just see. The question's going to be more so if we want to play Souls or Gideon. Kind of depends on what they do. I have had a pain free mana base so far, that's pretty cool. I do wonder what I, what opponents think we're playing when we do all of this. Alright, so doing the mana mofos, um, they're kind of just committed already to try to play a lot of spells this turn. Great. Obviously didn't want to wait too far into them casting a ton of spells, but you want them to at least commit to casting a couple spells with it first, but Manamorphos is obviously like you know, one into the next, so they were already kind of committing to this turn to try to go off by casting the Metamorphos. They haven't hit anything with Ascension yet, which is great. All right, well, ooh, or do I want Inquisition? So I can go Inquisition, Souls, or I can go Gideon. I think I'm gonna go Inquisition, Souls here. thinking so they have like one of all their cantrips surgical push sure it's strange they're gonna wish they did it on lingering souls I guess they just don't know what I'm playing right now which is fair 
I guess there were at the uh, Pro Tour, there were a couple people playing like a black-white mid-range deck, uh, including Ben Stark, which uh, is actually on the list of decks I may want to record a, a video series with. I've been looking at doing a black-white deck. Um, and uh, yeah, that might be it. Might just copy their list since I'm sure they did a lot of testing for it. Anyway, um, so the obviously like neither of these two matter too much against my tokens. Um, they can each kill it. The only consideration is that even though Lightning Bolt can like go to the face and hit Gideon, this axe does let them discard a Phoenix. Um, but maybe that's not that important. So next turn they'll go Crackling Drake and then I'll path it and still be able to cast Gideon. And they don't have much of a way of dealing with the Gideon. Double Bolt. I mean, even if they leave the one Bolt in their hand, they'd have to Double Bolt the Gideon. Let's just take the Lightning Bolt. I think it's just more flexible. All right, we're going to do this. Always yes. And now I will attack for one. Luckily, our opponent has done uh, six damage to themselves, so this won't take us too long. They're about to do one more, at least. Great. So two unknowns here. Delta's not bad. Oh, we already have our swamp. I could path and attack with a vent or... Oh no, I was going to play Gideon. What is Gideon? Hmm. Gideon Emblem's not bad because we'll attack for six now. They don't have a way to gain life. And then we have Vents and Flashing Back Lingering Souls and something that they can't really block at all. I could also not path the Crackling Drake and just see if they want to attack it. This is interesting. I might... Hmm. Let's start with that. Gideon plus otherwise. I mean, they don't... The thing in the ice is they're only sweeper per se. Which would be annoying, but can't attack next turn. I can start restocking if they like happen to flip a thing in the ice next turn. Yeah, I don't think I need an emblem. I guess the option two there would have been like plus Gideon there and like emblem next turn, but that doesn't do much. I'll do the normal pattern of zero plus one, and then I can decide if I want to emblem the following turn. And we're clearly pretty far ahead, obviously, yeah. So if they can start getting the ascension going, they can get a lot of card advantage that way and start catching up. But with active Gideon, souls in the graveyard, and a shambling vent, we're doing... I think we are ahead, and it's just up to our opponent to to see if they can catch up here. So we'll see. They're going to go through a lot of cards, or they have the potential to go through a lot of cards. All 
All right, so there's their two counters on the Ascension. So from now on, they get to like double their spells if it's in the graveyard. Oh no, just any spell they cast, they get to double. Hmm. Yep. It's pretty good. It's where path is annoying. Giving the extra mana is annoying, but so be it. Lightning axe, they can kill a knight and a spirit, but that's not the end of the world. Still at four cards though, they haven't gone up really. Yeah, there's the Phoenix, bummer. All right, well they'll attack the Gideon to one. Unless they have something else. Like a gut shot or a bolt. Or they need to leave it back to block. I think they do. Yep. Okay. Well, that's good for me. Um, five, yeah, so I think I'll do this first. See if they respond. Okay, now they can't, like, do anything to Gideon. Are they just dead? Five, six, seven, yeah. Or were they just, like, hoping I didn't see the shambling vent? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Cool. Well, Ascension is scary. Um, definitely these. Um, damping Sphere. I guess Settle. Brutality and Push are all maybes. It's not good. Probably finale's too slow. Uh, Oriac Champion was good, but I don't think it's enough. I think I want the pushes. Like, if we can just deal with Thing in the Ice, then we're in pretty good shape. Virtue's pretty important, but maybe we can trim one. Bitter Blossom slow but good. Maybe I trim a path. No, because I need to hit the Crackling Drakes. I basically need to hit all their threats. Um, I think I trim a Virtue. Then I could trim a Bitter Blossom. Maybe just a history. It's my turn here. Is Gideon too slow? Like this Gideon's Gideon's good. Saddle's good. I think Soren's good, albeit slow. I don't know if I want the life gain from the sword or not. Maybe settles just not as great as I would think, especially all the paths and pushes. Yeah, because they're usually only attacking with like one or two creatures at a time. I mean, they have four Phoenix, four Thing in the Ice, and like two or three Crackling Drakes, and I have seven removal spells. 
All right, well, this is super awkward. <laughs> Hands great. Inquisition, Bitter Blossom, Dreadhorde, Lingering Souls, but I need lands. Sadly. Yeah, that's cute. Bottom that. So turn one Inquisition, turn two Dreadhorde Invasion. So I'll take a Thing in the Ice or a uh, Pyromancer's Ascension from their hand, ideally. Let's so have a Spell Pierce, which would be annoying. But it's probably just the Thought Scour. Scour, Scour, Looting, Surgical. Hmm. I don't really care about surgical. Lootings are redundant. Thought scars are redundant. Maybe surgical is nah. Thing is, one looting is just good enough, probably for them. It is card disadvantage though, so maybe I'd rather take a thought scour. Yeah, let's just do that. Well, right off the bat, we should be able to get to see the uh, power or lack thereof of Dreadhorde Invasion. Loading. No Phoenix, please. Bummer. It's one spell. They go second spell and then surgical. They're not going to, okay. Lifelink could be interesting here. Ooh, spell pierce. They did have it. They did have it. Bummer. We had... We have only one draw step so far? Did they put us on the... Did they put us on the play? No. No, they went first. Why are we, why are we missing cards here? Six, seven, eight. If we we're on the draw, we should have two cards. Or we should have nine cards. Oh, we mulligan to six, right. And that's eight. Yep. Well, that's unfortunate. So, zero spells officially. This game's probably done for. But we'll play it out a little bit. Hmm. Damping sphere is interesting. I kind of want to. Do it. I mean, they've left mana open. I don't think they run counter spells other than spell peers, right? There's no way they do. Probably just left a bunch of instants up. So I think I just. Yeah, I want to run it out. Thinking that's probably a good thing for us. And obviously, I played the land in case they had another spell pierce, which, given three untapped lands and not doing anything, and faithless lootings galore in their graveyard, figured they were saving their mana for something. We'll see. 
啊。I got it. So Snapcaster, something. That's what the three mana was for. I guess they would have Snapcaster spell pierced. So it's a good thing I played the land. All right. Here we are. Yep, attacking me. And I'll start attacking with the vent. So I want a discard spell right now, ideally. Uh, blast zone's not so great. It's not bad if they deal with my shambling vents. Gives me something to do with my mana. Put it on two and just hang out. Lightning axe, lightning axe, okay. Discarding another spell pierce, so they did have another spell pierce, okay. Well, I don't mind trading my uh, lands for their spells, especially given eight land draws. All right, Ascension's very dangerous. Luckily, the sphere's there. Um, I can hold off on that. Just gonna start fetching away lands. I know deck thinning is very, very minimal, but it's something. Maybe the one point of life matters, but if I can start getting in there with the vent, I don't think it'll make a huge difference, but we'll see. I was gonna sham or I was gonna fetch at some point anyway, so right, hopefully this damping sphere is just really putting a damper on their plans, which it should be. Oh, so it does go exponential, so the second spell costs one more, the third spell costs two extra. That's good. That's good for not getting Phoenixes back. Means they need three extra mana in a turn to cast a third spell in a turn. That's great. But if they do get there, they do have one, two Phoenixes in the yard. Do I care to thought seize them? There's probably not a better time. Yeah, that's good. Okay. We'll get in there. Oh, they have the Ascension, so actually Metamorphose would have been really good for them. They've drawn two cards and made four mana, which would have really helped with the whole Damping Sphere thing. Yeah, those are good Thoughtsies. Yep, that's a good start. Oh, this counts. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's bad, because they are... Are they casting... Copy that spell. Arc Light Phoenix is 
cast three. Okay, so it does not count for the three. So they actually have to cast three different spells. Yeah, actually this counts it here. So they've only cast one spell. Even though they will will be resolving two spells. Yeah, damping sphere is real. Between Tron and Phoenix, maybe um maybe I'm under or uh, undervaluing damping sphere. Maybe it needs to be a uh, more heavily represented in the sideboard. So of note, I've not been casting Soren just because I don't have much to do with him. Like just minus make a token, like that's cool and all, but um, I think just getting in there with Vent for now is probably better. Especially because they could attack Soren with the Snapcaster, in which case I have to choose between losing the Soren or losing the token anyway, so I'd rather draw Lingering Souls or something like that or a Bitter Blossom and get a couple tokens out and then play Soren and plus some way to protect him and actually just to get value from his plus. So I'm going to fetch my Godless Shrine here. You know what maybe I should have done? was starting I should have got the blast zone out for two and just got rid of the pyromancer's ascension and the snapcaster mage yeah because now they're getting their phoenixes back shoot so this okay so I play it on one turn I could bring it up to two pretty easily and then it's the following turn. So yeah, I probably should have done that. So the math is eight. I'll gain two with vent. So losing one doesn't change anything. <clears throat> Ooh, keeping one back to block, okay, okay. Yeah, I definitely need like a lingering souls to then <laughs> get soaring in. So they have plenty of spells in their hand, which is kind of scary. This is gonna cost me okay, so I can do vent and put blast zone at two um to get it up to four it's going to cost me six mana which is all of it which is not terrible but Let's just do this. We'll go blast zone for two. We'll bring it up to two. Can go Soren. Minus? I don't really want to. Nah, I don't really want to do that. So I can either lose the shambling vent or just leave the vent back to block. Yeah, I mean, they're going to get a lot of value out of whatever's in their hand already. I think I just need to stay alive. So we'll see if they can cast three spells, I guess. Obviously, Path to Exile would be nice on a Phoenix. 
problem is they're probably just going to find their extra phoenixes with all the lootings they have and a lot of cards draw cards in their hand Okay. Opponent's thinking. So they're going to draw four. Well, those are the other three phoenixes. <laughs> so they need to go land one drop. And then surgical. Because the one drop's gonna cost them two mana. I guess they could do metamorphoses. Yeah, that'll get them there. Yep. Yep, should have played the blast zone earlier. So it's not too bad. So here it's, you play it, cost you two mana. If you want to definitely for two, play it two mana tap and then three mana tap to, to pop things. Okay. Yeah, that metamorphos got it for them because now they can cast whatever they want basically. And then they get all four phoenixes back and do only 12. Yep. Yep. Wow, 12 cards in their library. That's crazy. And they were due to find all the phoenixes, that's for sure. Yep. I'm dead. So maybe we'll keep settle. Soren seems pretty lame, but like I think he would have been really good. Like had we just had any tokens out, so maybe I'll do the other way and just take Gideon out instead. Would like to play first. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. Inquisition, Damping Sphere, Surgical, and then we have a real clock with the, uh, with the history. So I'll do this, make sure the sphere survives, or, uh, resolves, I mean. Uh, I guess it's ascension they have surgical for the phoenix so if they draw exactly spell pierce now that's annoying but we shall see <laughs> they did draw exactly spell pierce. Sure, dude. Nice draw. That's that's almost chat taunt worthy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be the bigger person here and just let it slide. Alright, well if they have a counter spell for this too, that's just All right, so I'm hoping they do like a um, faithless looting or something. Oh, angers, good for them. Yep, 
Yeah, it should be even better if they like thought scour hit a phoenix that I can surgical the one in their hand out as well. <clears throat> thought scour, thought scour. Snapcaster anger is probably very real. <clears throat> hmm. Discard a land and drain them for two just for the hell of it. Actually, let's do this. That's what I should be doing. There we go. Found the line. Opponent, creature, boom, boom. Discard marsh flats. <clears throat> Take the bolt. Man, are they just going to cast a phoenix? They might. Hopefully a faithful suiting. They go snap looting? No. I can go snap thought scour and I can just hope they hit their third or fourth phoenix, but. <clears throat> yep. I would not. Thank you very much. All right. Path is good, though somewhat annoying, obviously, because I can't surgical the other phoenixes, but I guess I could surgical thing in the ice. No. <clears throat> I'd rather path the next thing in the ice and then, uh, Lightning bolt, do I care? No, I don't think I care. Do I care to path the snapcaster? No. Yeah, I think I just need to Path the next thing in the ice and surgical the arc light phoenixes and then they're left with just uh, two more things and some crackling drakes. I'm gonna do this now so we can cast a sword if we need to. Virtue is a good draw. Better than Soren, actually, because so lets me attack through the Snapcaster Mage. But I do need some real threats at some point. Cast a Phoenix? No, Manamorphose, okay. I mean, they're bound to find a looting at some point. Sure. This stage I'll just trade with it and then so this should make them really want to trade or maybe not maybe they want to attack it back but 
kind of doubt it. Yep. Oh, that was a third one. Yikes. Oh, Blood Moon. I always forget about Blood Moon in this deck. Have another Anger. They took out Crackling Drakes. Cool. So all they really have is two things in the ice left. Okay. And they have an opt in hand, which they'll cast now, presumably. And now we at least have a pseudo threat. Like we can pump out three, three flying tokens. Obviously we're gonna just make one and then attack with a four, three life linker later if we want to. And there's that opt. Gotta look for a thing in the ice, but this gonna be really hard for them to flip it after that. So they'd be empty handed. Sure. Okay. Yeah, figured. Who extirpate? Seems good. Seems real good. Good, good, good game. Got it. Got it. All four things. Any threats left? They have one Snapcaster Mage left and a Pyromancer Ascension, which I don't think does anything on its own. One Lightning Bolt left. Cool. Well, he's not conceding. He's shocking himself. <laughs> no. No, not conceding. All right. Math time. Uh... Three, then next turn, eight, I take 11 or four now, four the next turn. It's the same clock. This is just like, if they draw their exact lightning bolt, this is worse, but this gives us outs to like another virtue, makes it lethal next turn or something like that. Fetch land on their turn. Or whatever. It's just a three turn clock either way, basically. But let's see what's more. Yeah, there's snap. Anger? Anger. Yep, I guess that's something that. Would have been better the other way but that's all right it's still just kind of moot at this point i don't know i mean i don't know what they're playing for they're just practicing they don't have any more wind conditions in their deck they have like a lightning bolt and a Pyromancer Ascension, like along with Pyromancer Ascension, but. Plus that, don't want to lose him yet. 
path doesn't do anything. They deck themselves before <laughs> before I manage to kill them. Or realistically, they're gonna run out, run out of time. That's frustrating. <laughs> I mean, they're just going to run out of time or deck themselves. They're just making our life miserable. Yep, it's fine. Still just draw lingering souls. I think that's the only thing I can draw. That I can cast. Oh, drew the swamp. Okay. All right, this is very annoying. They literally could not win. Uh, I usually don't care to chat BS, but like, they're clearly not doing anything. And it's like, I get the... I'm very much on the side of making your opponent kill you. And like, they need me to kill them. But like... They're just going to run out of time anyway. So they literally... I don't have to kill them because they're just going to lose to their own clock yep well hopefully some of you turned this off a while ago um, once I extirpated the thing in the ice uh, maybe I'll just cut the video short we'll see <laughs> alright we'll be back for round number two